So I thought I'd do a quick video on how to figure out that P2096 code, Post Catalyst Fuel Trim System 2 Lean Bank 1. Basically what that means is the oxygen sensor after your catalytic converter on bank 1, which is the side of the engine with cylinder number 1, is reading that there's too much oxygen in the exhaust. In plain English, it thinks that side of the engine's running lean, too much air, not enough fuel, even after the exhaust has gone through the cat. The computer tries to add fuel to fix it, but if it can't get the mix right, it sets this code. Now, the trick is figuring out whether the engine's actually running lean or if the sensor's just being fooled. One of the first things I think about with this code is an exhaust leak. If you've got a leak between the front oxygen sensor and the rear one, Anywhere on bank one, fresh air can get sucked in and make that rear sensor think the exhaust is lean when it's really not. What I'll do is start the engine and listen for ticking or hissing around the exhaust manifold and pipe connections on bank one. You can even plug the tailpipe with a rag for a second. If you hear puffing up front, there's your leak. Another thing that will cause this code is a vacuum leak. I know this is a post-cat code, but unmetered air getting in before combustion will still show up in the fuel trims, and eventually the rear sensor catches it. So I'll listen for hissing around intake hoses, vacuum lines, or intake gaskets for bank one. A little carb cleaner or brake cleaner sprayed around suspect areas will change the idle if you've got a leak. Now, fuel delivery is another big one. If you're not getting enough fuel to bank one, it's going to run lean. Could be a weak pump, clogged filter, bad regulator, or even just a clogged injector on that bank. I'll hook up a fuel pressure gauge to the rail, start the engine, and compare the reading to spec. If pressure's good, but I suspect an injector, I might check the plugs. White tips mean lean, and even swap injectors to see if the problem follows. Don't forget the MAF sensor. If it's dirty or faulty, it can underreport how much air's coming in so the computer doesn't add enough fuel. I'll pull it out, spray it with MAF cleaner, let it dry, and put it back. Don't use carb cleaner, it'll damage it. And of course, it could be the rear O2 sensor itself on bank one. Sometimes they just get old, slow, or contaminated and give false lean readings. If everything else checks out, I'll inspect the wiring for damage, and if the sensor's old, I'll swap it. Now, in some rare cases, a clogged catalytic converter can trigger this. If it's clogged, the exhaust flow's restricted, and temps before the cat will be higher than after. You can check this with a scan tool, or even a laser thermometer. Just compare before and after temps once the engine's warm. So, when I'm chasing a P2096, my order is, check for exhaust leaks on bank 1 check for vacuum leaks, test fuel pressure and injectors, clean dust test MAF sensor, inspect, replace rear O2 sensor, check for a clogged cat if nothing else fixes it. Most of the time, it's either an exhaust leak or a lazy O2 sensor. So start with the simple stuff, work your way down the list, and you can usually fix it without throwing a pile of parts at it. If this video helps you out, click like, Hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.